Hi, welcome to yoga. I'm Joanne. Thanks for practicing with me today. Let's start today's practice in a comfortable seat so you can elevate the hips if you need to. Um, and then we'll lift the flesh from our sitting bones. Um, so make sure you're in a comfortable position so your hips aren't, your knees aren't too lifted. So that's why you'll elevate your hips if you need to. And then from there, we'll find some length through the spine. So think about lifting up through the pelvic floor a little bit and engaging in the core gently. So we don't want to create tension, but just a nice energetic lift. So there's a little bit of effort there. And then go ahead and shrug the shoulders up by the ears and then pull them in a big circle down the back. So you can seat them in the, uh, in the back. <laughs> So they're not hunched up, so grounding the shoulders. And then we'll tag a little weight into the elbows. And then gently retract the chin slightly so the head is right above the spine. And hands can be palms down or up, or one of each, whatever you like. And let's close the eyes. And just settle here for a couple minutes. So connecting to the breath, your posture. And scanning your body, see if there's anywhere you're holding any tension. And if you find any areas that feel tense, just note them. And begin to gently deepen your breathing. So we want to breathe with the whole body. So we bring the breath first into the lower belly. And the breath expands like a balloon up the body all the way up to the chest and clavicle. And as you exhale, just letting go. Gently squeeze the navel toward the spine. And keep expanding the breath gently. So we never want to force anything, and we always want to be comfortable in the breathing. So if you notice any rough edges or hitches or anything along the way, see if you can just smooth them out nice and gently. And you might take this time at the beginning of practice to set an intention or a dedication for your practice, if that sounds good to you. And whatever you choose, repeat that three times to yourself or out loud if you're at home alone, <laughs> so that you can anchor that into the subconscious for your practice today. Take a few more cycles of breath here. Feel a sense of expansion with every inhale. Kind of softening and letting go with every exhale. might even imagine an energetic lift at the base of the neck, corners of the eyes and the mouth, just a lightness there. See if you can find that sensation. Slowly let the eyes flutter open. We'll keep the gaze nice and soft. We're going to inhale. We're going to sweep the arms back. I want you to keep the posture exactly where it is. So we're not going to arch in the back or anything. We're going to pull the arms behind us 
get a little stretch in the chest. Reach all the way up. Maybe connect the hands, and then you're going to flip the palms and pull back behind you. So again, opening through the chest, getting a nice, easy stretch there. So then let's inhale again, sweep it up. Exhale, pull back. Good, one more of those. Inhale, lift, gather some energy with the breath. And exhale, pull back. Good. Release the hands by your side. We're going to shrug the shoulders. So create a little tension, squeeze, and exhale back. Inhale, squeeze it up, and exhale, soften. One more of those. A little tension and release. Good. Sitting up tall, drop through the shoulders. Bow the chin to the chest. Stretch the back of your neck. Feeling the weight of the head working in that stretch for you, and then just gently rock side to side. Ear toward the shoulder, and we're moving in a nice smooth arc. So dropping the chin forward and down, and inhaling toward, ear toward shoulder. And take your time, if you notice any areas that feel super tense, you might just work with the breath there, pause, see if you can find a little space as you breathe into any tension. You can let it go with the exhale. Good, and let's do a couple more side to side. Great, drop the chin. Let's take the head upright. Drop through the shoulders, and we're just going to rotate. So the chin is parallel to the floor, crown of the head is tall, shoulders are down, and we're just going to look over one shoulder, and then look over the other. So just a nice side to side. Make a little more rotation in the neck. Fine. One more of those. We'll come back to center. So we're going to take the arms out to a T, soften the shoulders, pull the fingers out. Let's just rotate through the wrists a couple times, feeling that, and make sure the shoulders are relaxed so they're not up by the ears. So relax them down, rotate through the wrists, reverse. Good. And then pull the hands out, flex. The hands toward the face, feeling this through the forearms. Shoulders are relaxed. And then you're going to pull toward the body. So flexing the other way, or yeah, flexing and then extending. Got a couple of these. Open and pull in. Just kind of getting into our forearms a bit. Make sure it's hyper sitting at a desk. Good. And then let's wiggle the fingers a couple times. Just wiggle, wiggle, feeling that through the whole arm. Shoulders are still relaxed. You're breathing. Good. And then pull the fingers again toward the face. We're going to do one more thing here. See so if you can relax those shoulders. Pull the fingers toward the screen. So you're rotating now in the arm, shoulder in the socket, and then back open. So I'm only moving my arm in the joint. Nothing else is moving. Keep breathing. Great. Maybe one more. Get into all those little tiny muscles in the forearm and the shoulder. Wiggle the fingers around. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lower again, halfway down. We're going to lean forward slightly and take eagle arms. So you're going to bring one arm under the other, come back to a seated posture. You can grab your shoulders. Your hands can be back to back or palm to palm if you're not torquing your wrist too much. So make sure it's comfortable. We're really creating a bind here. No matter which hand position you're using, we're creating this little bind with the arms and the elbows. Good. Then we'll sit up tall. And then wherever you are, you're just going to lift through the elbows. So keep the head neutral. So feeling this in that muscle behind the shoulder blade that connects into your neck. Lower the elbows toward your chest and then inhale, lift. So just a little 
massage. You could kind of take some circles if that feels good. Just creating a nice massage for that attachment in the shoulder. I think this is where a lot of us get tight. You know, I do. I know most people I work with do. So let's just take a couple breathing into it. So whatever feels good here, you can just go up and down or make some circles. And as always, don't do anything if it hurts. Let's unwind the arms. Ooh, a little nice pop there. Shrug the shoulders in between. Inhale, take the arms up again. Deep breath in. And exhale, come halfway. Leaning forward. And then switch the cross. So the other elbow comes underneath. Remembering which one was on top. I forgot. I just did, tried to do the same one. So make sure it feels different. Come back up, right? Hand position on the side that's comfortable. And just begin to move a little bit. So we're going to keep the head pretty neutral here. We don't want to torque the neck or anything like that. So just breathing as you gently move your elbows around wherever you are. Feeling this in the other shoulder. You might notice one side more tight. Notice my dominant side just a little more tight. So maybe making circles, keep breathing. Loosening that joint. Take one more cycle of breath here. Great, oh, nice, another little pop. Release the shoulders, unwind the arms. Let's shrug them up again one more time and down the back. Good, and then just shake the arms out a little bit, letting go of any tension that might have built up from that. Let it release. And let's come into a tabletop posture on the hands and knees. I'm gonna use a cushion for the knees. I'll do that if that's better. We'll come onto all fours. So bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, press the mat away from you. Brighten your fingers on the mat. Make sure the inside of the elbow is coming toward the front of the mat. So we're rotating the shoulders laterally around the bone. And then micro bend the joint so you're not locking the elbow. We don't want to hyperextend. So just a softness there. Good. And then press the mat away from you. Top to the feet down. Let's take a few cat cows for the spine. So we're going to inhale, drop the belly, send the tail and crown far and away. As you breathe in and as you exhale, you're gonna round up. Activate the hands and feet to press up. Inhale as you open, think length. And exhale as you round. So let your breath guide your pace. Good, no rush. And notice how you're transitioning too. So we're not just getting somewhere, we're sort of being mindful of how we move, all the points that we're engaging as we move the body. Do one more. Good, and we'll come back. We'll meet in our tabletop position. Good, and then we're just gonna make some circles. So we're gonna lean forward and then round through the side body, push back over your hips. Inhale, come up on the other side. So don't sag the belly as you do this. Keep the core a little bit active and make some big circles. Keep the breath nice and deep. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's reverse, we'll go the other way. Inhale and exhale. This is kind of free form, so just trying to get into the side body a little bit. So lateral flexion for our spine. Getting into the hips a little bit. One more circle this direction. Great, and then we'll meet back in our tabletop position. All fours. So we're going to walk our knees behind our hip points just a touch. You might need to take your hands slightly wider if you're super tight in the shoulders. We're going to bend at the elbow. I want you to engage your core. We're going to plant the chest right between the hands and come down to the floor. Keep 
keep the hips a little lifted here first for a nice stretch and upward S pose. And then let the legs slide behind you, top to the feet on the floor. My hands are right next to my chest. And I'm gonna inhale, open up, pull the heart forward for cobra glue the feet. Nice deep breath in, exhale, come down to the chest all the way. Turn your head so your cheek is on the floor. You're gonna take one arm out to a T position. And then you're gonna bend the opposite knee. You're gonna open the chest here. So um, my, I'm gonna kind of roll away from you. You're gonna roll toward your extended arm side. So I'm looking toward my extended arm side and I'm gonna just open up, reach that opposite foot behind you. And um, if anything hurts, don't do it. I'm sorry, you're looking at away from your extended arm. I'm trying to teach you and talk at the same time. So turn your head the other way and then open back. So let me start on the other side so that makes more sense. And then, so opposite leg stretches behind you, just a nice opener for the chest. Take a couple breaths here. And again, go only as far as you're comfortable. Good, so one more breath. And even the foot behind you is optional. So we'll come back to the belly, switch the arm, switch the cheek and open up. Couple of breaths. Good. Slowly unwind. Bring that hand back next to your chest. Top to the feet down. Let's inhale for Cobra again. One more time. We're pulling the shoulders back. Open the chest forward. Gaze is long in front of you, so I'm not looking up. I'm looking out in front of me. Neck is long. Shoulders down. Good, release the chin and chest. We're gonna tuck the toes, inch your knees back up to your awkward S pose. So the hips lift, hands next to the chest. Take a deep breath in, engage your core and press yourself back up. Good, from here with the toes tucked, we're gonna slowly peel our hips up to downward dog. So take your time, first downward dog and we'll just pedal our feet. So we might still be a bit tight in our hamstrings and calves. So take your time, walk the dog out. Nice deep breath. And then walk yourself all the way up to the front of your mat. So feet about hip width apart, bend the knees as much as you need so the hands touch down next to your feet. We're tucking the forehead to the shins in our forward bend. Deep breath in and out. So just take note of how bent your knees are at this point. Let's dangle the arms in front of us. We're just gonna sway gently side to side, shake your head a little yes, no. Let's let everything go. Inhale and exhale. Wash off the back and then tuck your tailbone. We're gonna slowly roll up to stand. My new favorite, well, it's not new, I guess I've done it before. Image as you roll up is to imagine a mama cat lifting a, a kitten. So that kitten was just totally positive, right? So then we're peeling ourselves up from the back body, come to the top of the mat, shrug your shoulders to mountain pose, open the chest. So feel the weight even on your feet, heavy suitcases in the hands. We're gonna fan the hands forward. So the palm faces the front. And then like we did as in a seat, we're gonna reach the arms behind us to open the chest, lift up, inhale. And then as you exhale, again, flip the palms and open the chest. We're gonna hinge at the hip and come down to forward bend. Go back to forward fold. And then we're gonna to inhale to a flat back pose, lengthen your spine. Good, and exhale, fold. We'll plant the hands next to our feet. We're gonna take a giant step back with the right leg, drop the back knee and uncurl the toes for crescent lunge. So here, this is the variable front knee is directly above the heel. Scissor the legs to the midline as you lift up. Keep your pelvis neutral, find that energetic lift through your pelvic floor to support the musculature and then sweeping the arms up nice and slow, inhale, lift. So we're activating our feet toward each other. 
soften the shoulders. And then as you breathe here, I want you to feel a stretch deep in the belly here. So tuck, if you don't feel that, see, tuck your tailbone a little bit to activate that stretch. Getting our deep hip flexors. Another breath. Great, slowly exhale, fold the hands to the front foot, and then walk your hands back. If you have blocks, that might be handy if you need to create a little more space. So I don't want you to round totally. I want you to open the chest. You can come to fingertips or blocks. Toes are lifting toward you, stretching the front hamstring here. So we'll take a couple breaths here. And imagine your heart stretches forward as that sitting bone pulls to the back of the mat. That's the idea. Let's take one more breath here. So it should be breathable. I don't want you to feel like, oh my God, this is so tight. So if it's too tight, soften a little bit and then work with the breath. Because that breath, if you can keep that breath smooth and even, you're gonna get much further than if you're holding and resisting. Good, slowly walk forward. So we don't want our nervous system to take over, right? As if we're in stress. So hands next to the front foot, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, take your hips high, and we'll step back to downward dog. So we're gonna recruit all our muscles in the body as we float into plank pose. So activate as you move and shift, shoulders over wrists, lowering the hips. Energy comes through the heels. We're active in the core, gaze is long, breathe in. Exhale, drop the knees, the chest and the chin. Slide into a cobra, tops of the feet down, open the chest. Draw the shoulder blades back, elbows close. Feet glue, one more breath. Good, release down. Tuck your toes. You can just peel back to downward dog. If you want a little more challenge, you could do a little push up there back to your um, upward S. Lead in downward dog. Great, and then we're gonna bend the knees and whichever leg stepped back the first time I step back with my right, so I'm gonna inhale and bring my right leg forward. So switching sides, so again, check your alignment. You can manually put the foot forward if you need, drop the back knee and uncurl the toes. Find that scissors, scissor action with the legs as you lift. Tuck your pelvis, check your alignment, slowly sweep the arms up. Soften your shoulders, extend your fingers. As you breathe, I want you to feel that stretch. If you don't, try tucking a little bit more. One more breath. Good, slowly walk your hands down, frame the foot, and then take it back, draw the toes up. Walk your hands back, use your blocks if you need, open the chest. Again, the sitting bone pulls back, heart pulls forward, breathe. And check in with yourself. If it's too much, soften a little bit and breathe there. It's so easy to sort of go to our edge, but that's not always the best place to be. We wanna be right before our edge. Great, let's walk it forward, plant the hands. You're gonna tuck the back toes under as you lift the knee, and then we're gonna step forward. Back to forward bend, fold here. Hopefully a little more open after all the hamstring opening. And then imagine being a kitten and pull yourself up. All the way back to mountain pose, shrug the shoulders and open your chest. Great. We'll take the arms behind us, inhale, open up through the chest, deep breath. Exhale as you flip the palms, hinge at the hip and fold down, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bow. Hands will plant. Take a giant step back with your right leg. And then we're gonna keep 
our knee lifted this time. I'm going to pivot my back foot down, check heel to arch or heel to heel alignment. So my front knee is bent and right above my heel. My back foot is grounded and then reverse a cartwheel up to your warrior two stance. Soften the shoulders and extend the arms. And then neutralize the pelvis here. Try not to tip it forward. Keep it nice and neutral. Outer edge of that back foot's down. This hip is opening to the knee side. We're breathing. Maybe gazing to the front hand. And then you can take this as deep as you want. Just make sure your alignment's good. If you're feeling a little less energetic, you can always come out of it a little bit. Listen to your body. Okay, we're going to turn the front palm up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to so sweep the arm down and sweep up. And then we're going to straighten through the front leg as we lift up and back. A nice front body stretch here. Don't dump into your back. Breathe in. And then flip the palm and exhale back to your warrior two. Good. We're going to do that again. Flip the palm. Reach down. Inhale. Scoop something up. A little extra effort for that quad and lift. Straighten through the leg. Feel a nice stretch through the front body. Good. Exhale back down, warrior two. Good. Let's take a, a breath in. And then as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame the foot. Back heel lifts, hips lift, and we step it back. Downward dog. Maybe pedal the feet out. Float into plank pose, nice and mindfully, engaging the whole body as you move. Exhale, drop the knees, the chest, and the chin. Slide into a cobra, open up. Maybe play with lifting the hands this time. So you're using your back muscles, feet are glued. Good, release the hands next to your chest. Chin lowers. Tuck your toes. And again, if you want a little more challenge, inch the knees up, press up, or float it right back to your downward dog. Your breath. Good. From here, bend the knees. As you look forward, you're going to bring the right foot through. We're switching sides again. You can place the foot up. Check your alignment. Pivot your back foot down, then check your alignment. So powering up through that front quad as you reverse your cartwheel up. For warrior two on the other side. Hip opens to the knee. Engaged back foot, tall posture, even pelvis, gaze to the front hand. Nice deep breath. Let's turn that front palm to face up. Again, tip the torso down. Imagine you're picking something up. A little extra work here. Lift, straighten the front leg and open back. Creating lots of length through all the limbs. Slowly come back, warrior two. Notice the shoulders are above the hips. I'm not leaning forward here. One more time, flip the palm, reach down behind the knee and lift, straighten the leg, lift up. Excellent, slowly back down, warrior two. Catch a breath here. On your exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame the foot, lift the back heel and just step forward. Forward fold. Bow here. Good, we're gonna roll it up, feed the kitten, slowly come up, shrug your shoulders, and open the chest. Excellent. Come back to the front. We're gonna start from our mountain pose, reach the arms back behind you, lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, pull the arms behind you, swan dive back down, forward fold. Tuck your forehead, see where you are. Inhale, flat back. 
and exhale, hold again. Hands will plant. Good, we're gonna step back with both legs this time. So we're gonna meet in a plank position. We won't be here long, just check it out for a moment and then peel your hips up and back. Allow your heels to settle toward the mat. They may not touch down, that's fine. And then again, make sure the inside of the elbow is rotating forward, head is relaxed. So you wanna avoid this. A lot of people do have the shoulders up. So make sure you're relaxing the chest through the arms. From downward dog, let's take our right leg high in the sky, three-legged dog. Keep those shoulders even. Bend your knee. So then from bending the knee, rather than like opening up into the back, I want you to tuck your tailbone. Keep your core a little bit tight. And then squeeze the bent knee up. We're going to hover the nose and knee together just briefly. And then pull the leg all the way through for pigeon. So take your back foot straight behind you. You're going to come onto your fingertips here. If you need a prop under your hip, you can place something under here if you're super tight. So we want to keep our hip points, the front of our hip points, equidistant to the mat. And then open the chest, look up toward the sky, take a deep breath here. Good. And then slowly walk your hands down. So wherever you want to be in pigeon, you can stack two fists and rest on the forehead or hands. You can even stay here. You don't, if you, this isn't enough for you, that's fine. So wherever is comfortable. And once you get to your posture, I want you to relax your jaw and your shoulders and your brow. So breathing deeply into your hips. You might even feel this in the groin area on the inner thigh a little bit. So wherever you are, make sure that you can breathe and relax. Soften everything. So keep letting go. One more breath. So walking your hands back, we're gonna come next to the knee again, onto fingertips, open your chest, draw the shoulder blades back behind you and take a deep breath in. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, and step back to downward dog. Great. From here, you can go right into the other side. If you want to take an optional flow, you could. It's totally up to you. So just go right into the other side, left leg lift. Shoulders stay nice and even again, bend the knee, tuck your tailbone, engage your core a little bit. So feel your abdomen fire up. And then pull the knee in as you hover round, squeeze those and knee together. And then pull the knee right between your hands. So it comes up to the side, back leg goes straight. Come on to fingertips, draw the shoulders back, open the chest, breathe in deep. Exhale as you make your way to where you want to be on this side. Back fists, hands, check in with the jaw and the brow. And I forgot to mention on the first side, if you need an alternate for your knee, you'll take figure four on the back. So if this hurts your knee, don't do it. So I'll demonstrate figure four on the back. Cross one leg over the other. Top arm, same top leg, same arm reaches through the hole. Neck behind the thigh, relax and pull that unit toward your chest. Same, same stretch on the back. So whichever you need, you'll get that same muscle group. 
without injuring your knee. Good. Keep letting go, keep softening, reach out breath. Nice and slowly, you're going to walk your hands back. Bring the knee again. We'll come onto fingertips once more as we draw the shoulders back open the chest. Deep breath here. Plant your hands, tuck the back toes, and step back to downward dog. Paddle your feet. <clears throat> Great. And then We'll flow here. You can always skip it if you need a little break. No worries. Drop the knees, chest, chin. We'll come into cobra. Maybe lift the hands. Great. Release them next to your chest. And then we're just going to push back to child's pose here. So sit back over your heels. Extend the arms. Relax the forehead. Soften the shoulders. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. We're going to walk our hands back to sitting up on our heels. And then we're just going to swing the legs around to the front. So I'm going to move my little blanket. You might have your blanket handy if you need it to sit up on. You're super tight in the hips, and you can't sit up straight, seated, seating on, seated, sitting on the floor. <laughs> so if it's difficult to extend the legs and sit up here, use your prop. Okay, good. And then we're gonna flex the feet toward the face, and then. Point the toes, get a nice stretch in the shin. So we're going to do that a couple times. Flex and point and flex and point. Lift up out of the hips one more time. Flex and point and then relax the feet so they're neutral. And then depending on how tight you are in the hamstrings, um, you might keep the feet relaxed or even pointed. And if you want a little more stretch, you'll flex the toes further back to activate that muscle a little bit more. So wherever you are, we're going to inhale, lift up, reach up out of your hips. And as you exhale, I want you to hinge from the hips so we're not rounding in the back. We're lengthening, reach, reach, reach as much as you can. And then let the hands land anywhere on the leg. You might use a strap here if you've got one handy. Hands on the couch, I'm not going to get it right now. So we're going to open the chest. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders forward. So it doesn't matter where you come on the leg, right? You should still feel a stretch here. Your legs can be a little bit bent. So I'm aiming to kind of lay my torso over my thighs. I may not get close to that, but what I'm trying not to do is round my back. So we're lifting and lengthening. And then from here, I want you to imagine breathing from your tailbone, a straight line up through the crown of your head, shoulders back. So take a deep lengthening breath in. And then on your exhale, just relax. So we're not going anywhere, we're just softening. So again, breathe in, find that length, and exhale, relax. So again, if you're at the edge, maybe back out just a little bit. Great. Take a couple more breaths here. So we do one more breath. Lengthening on the inhale, softening on the exhale. 
great. And then we'll walk the hands back, slowly come up. And then you're gonna take your hands behind you. We'll do a little counter stretch for that forward bend. So well, option one is to bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. My hands are under my shoulders and my fingers are pointing toward my hips. Feet hip width apart. Take a breath in from here if you're starting here. And then as you exhale, we just lift the hips. Keep the chin and chest fairly close. We don't wanna drop the head back, protect your neck. If you're feeling more like you want more of a challenge and more advanced, feet stay together, point the feet, and then we reverse plank, press the feet down, let's lift up. Whichever you prefer. And then we'll slowly lower down. Good, stretch the legs out. Great, I'm gonna remove my blanket. We're gonna come one more stretch here. We're going to come onto the knees. So you might use your blanket. I usually end up, I like to roll up my mat to make a cushion for the knees. We're going to do the camel next. <clears throat> so for the camel, we want to keep our pelvis neutral. I'm going to tuck my toes under so my heels aren't as far to reach. If you're super flexible in the back, you can keep the toes untucked. I'm tucking my under. And then I'm gonna take my elbows, uh, my hands behind my back, elbows pull back behind me. So my hands are supporting my sacrum here, thumbs around the waist, fingers down. And then elbows back to open the chest. So you wanna feel a little momentum from like a forward roll. Like if you're a wheel, you might roll forward. You let go. So we're activating through the front body front body, and then you're lifting the sternum up a little bit to the sky. So take your gaze up a little bit, breathe in, grow tall, keep the tailbone gently tucked, and then maybe one hand off comes off the back at a time. You don't have to come off the back at all. You can stay here and just lean, lift the chest, tuck the tailbone. So I don't want you to feel any pinching in the lower back at all. big stretch here so take it wherever you're comfortable notice I'm not dropping my head back I've got like an orange between my chin and chest shoulders back heart open one hand at a time to the back for support as you come off the heels if you were on them good and then release down and let's do gate pose so I'm going to untuck my toes now and I'm going to take one leg out to the side. And my foot is, if you can see it, my toes are facing forward and I'm anchoring my full foot into the floor. So my hips are still toward the front. I'm going to rest my right hand on my right extended leg. I'm going to inhale the left arm up. Some deep breath in and then lift up and over, just using this leg as a guide to slide down the leg. Getting a nice stretch through the side body and waist. Connect to the breath. Don't lean on your leg. Keep lifting. And try not to round forward either. So we're up and over. Good. Use that top arm to lift back up. Lower the arm by the side. Take your extended leg back in balance and we'll switch sides. So send the other leg out to the side, toes forward, staying nice and centered uh, with the hips. We're not leaning in one direction, but forward. So arm rests on the outside of that extended leg as you lift the right arm up, breathe in, keep that shoulder relaxed, looking forward, and then lift up and over. Feeling all this musculature stretch, shoulders relaxed, we're breathing, stretching through the side body. Great. Another breath. Good, and then think about this top arm and using the torso to lift up, lower the arm, take that bent leg or that extended leg in. Nice work. I'm going to come off my 
roll, unfurl. Great, and then let's take a brief child pose from here. Relax forward. You can take your knees wider if you'd like. Whatever feels good here. We're just gonna breathe into the back. Nice, and then slowly come back up. Sitting on the heels, we're gonna swing the legs around in front. Lift the flesh from your sitting bones. You're gonna glue your heels to the floor, hands on the thighs, and we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest and roll down. So I want you to think about engaging the core so the slower you go, the harder it is. Keep the feet glued, little challenge, slowly unfurl. If that's comfortable, if anything's uncomfortable, don't do it. But coming down to the back, whatever way you like. Good, and then once you get to the back, kind of shimmy around and relax. You're gonna draw the right knee into the chest, clasp around your shin, squeeze the knee in. And just rotate your big toe, make some circles with the big toe. And then go in the other direction a few times. Bring into our ankle joint just a little bit. And take this bent knee in a nice, easy reclining twist. So cross the body. And then the right arm can reach out from the shoulder, palm down. If that's comfortable, you can gaze to that extended arm. Think about that top hip moving to the front of the mat, away from your armpit. Creating lots of space, deep breath in the belly. Just relaxing, letting everything go. Good, slowly come back to center, squeeze that knee in one more time. Extend that leg up to the sky, point the toe, hold on behind your thigh, you could use a strap here if you need. Don't hold your knee and then flex the toes toward the face. We're gonna create a little resistance in the leg. So holding behind the leg with a strap or your hand, <laughs> flexing the foot and then resist the hands or your strap with the legs. So press in, breathe in, and then as you exhale, soften, and draw the leg a little closer to the body as it relaxes. So one more time, press away, squeeze, a little tension, just traction for the shoulders if you're using the hands. Good, and soften, relax, draw the leg in. Great, keep that leg in the sky now and release the hands to the floor and then slowly extend your heel all the way down as far away from you as you can get it, back down to the floor. Good, shake a little bit on the floor and then we'll draw the left knee into the chest. Squeeze the knee in and then begin to circle your toe. Go a few times in each direction. Squeeze that knee in. Let's take our twist, pull the leg across. Left arm might reach out from the shoulder palm down. You can gaze in that direction if that's comfortable. Connect to the breath, top hip moves away from the armpit. Soften your shoulders. Deep belly breaths. Great, slowly come back to center, squeeze that knee in. And then we'll extend that leg up, connect behind the thigh with a strap where your hands point and flex. And then flex the toes toward the face. And then we'll resist. Inhale as you press the leg into the hands or strap. Head, neck, and shoulders should be relaxing pretty much on the ground. And exhale, soften, release that tension and draw your leg a little closer in. We'll do that one more time, resist. And soften. Let go. Great, 
Release the hands, keep the leg in the air, release the hands by the side, flex the heel and extend and lower all the way down, nice and slowly. Good, shake out a little when you get to the floor. And then um, we'll come to our final resting position. So if there's any last posture that you wanna take, feel free to do that now. You might just bring knees to chest and rock around or maybe a happy baby. You might be ready to relax. So whatever you wanna do. If you have any tension in your back, you'll bend the knees and take your feet a mat width apart. And let the knees come toward the center. If your back feels good, you might wanna stretch the legs all the way out. Let the feet flop out. And then we'll tuck the shoulder blades under the chest to open the heart. Let the palms face up and make sure your neck is neutral on the floor. So rock your head gently side to side. And if you need a thin prop or blanket under your head to keep the neck neutral, use that if you need it. So your fingers are relaxing, curling toward the palm. Gently close the eyes, allow the head to come to center and stillness. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And sigh it out through the mouth with a little sound. <sighs> Letting go of any tension in the body. So you're gonna stay right where you are. I'm going to sit up, but you stay on your back. And slowly relax the entire body. So you might scan the body, see if there's any residual tension from the practice. And use your exhale to just let it go. We're relaxing the entire body completely. All the muscles of the face are soft and relaxed. Just imagine melting into the mat. The body grows heavier and heavier with each out breath. And we'll just be here for another, maybe another minute. So take advantage of that minute. Completely relax. Stay a little longer. I encourage you to do that. So if you just have the hour, we'll just go ahead and ring the bell. We we'll slowly come back to our body. And gently just begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You might rock your head a little side to side. And then as you're ready, we'll roll to the right side of our body, coming to a fetal posture for a moment. And just taking that time to see how you feel between now and the beginning of the practice. And you might recall if you set an intention or dedication today for the practice. And as you're ready, you'll use your left hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. 
using your prop if you need it. So we'll meet in easy pose. Sitting up nice and tall, hopefully a little easier than when we started. And then inhale as you reach the arms behind you, lift up. Feel the hands at the top. Exhale as you lower them to your heart. And bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.